Warning, the following sketches, skits, and bits are very, very absurd. Hang on to your sanity. Piano player, play the song. You got it. Let's go backwards. Still had what's up. But can you turn on the news? Is that my water? Oh no, that's mine. Wherever the news comes to break, we'll be there. No matter the headline, our skilled team of reporters and weather people will be there to talk about it. With our state-of-the-art helicopter and news vans, we'll get the story right to your door or TV. Whichever comes first. Anyway, welcome to 13972469420745.6 News Station. Only the best around. Yeah. Oh, breaking news. There is no news. Wait, what was that? Yeah? Really? I didn't know that. Well, incoming breaking news. There is a disease, there's a disease around. Be careful. Back to you, weatherman. Man, this is what a camera looks like. Oh, oh, we're live now. Oh. Hello, welcome to the weather station. My name is. I don't know. That doesn't really matter right now. Today. We're going to be talking about the weather, okay? Alright, so right here we have our weather. So, in the middle area, you can see that there's a bunch of, uh, the, of, like, red and yellow and stuff. It represent the red and yellow represents the rain and the thunderstorms. It's kind of right there in the middle of the thing. Oh, wait. It's the wrong thing? It's over here? Oh, okay. Okay, in the middle there, you can see that there is that red and yellow. That red and yellow stuff is the, uh... Red and yellow is, is the meaning of the, uh, like, rain and stuff. And the thunderstorms in the area. What is it doing now? It's glitching. What's it glitching to? Oh, those selfies? Oh, no. Oh. Oh. That's bad. Uh, we're gonna switch to the other camera now. So here's a traffic camera. As you can see, there's no cars driving by at the moment. Uh. You can see the trees moving. Um, let's switch to the next camera. Oh god, it's a computer clock! Well, well, welcome to this camera. Sorry about that last thing, that was totally unprecedented. But anyway, here's our temperatures. Is it there, cameraman? Okay. So anyway, it's going to be 70 degrees today. It's going to be 40 degrees tomorrow. 69 degrees in the next day, and 100 degrees in the next day. That's good. Back to you, uh, in the office. Um, do you, did you happen to do the radar for tomorrow? What? You didn't tell me I had to do the radar for tomorrow! Uh. I found my head out! Uh, 
dang it, he quit. Well, uh, that's a shame. Well, um... Well, join us for tomorrow, tonight's evening news, around 5 o'clock. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a lot more news then than we do right now. See you at 5. Alright, I'm going to go now. Okay. But Star Wars is on. Oh, Star Wars is on? Yeah. Can you record it for me? Sure. Okay. Right, see ya. Jedi Joe, what brings you to the suburban neighborhood planet? To kill you. You're here to kill me? Yeah. You do realize that that's against the Jedi Code. But my master sent me. Who is your master? Mr. Bob. Mr. Master Bob? Mm-hmm. Ooh, he's a... I don't know how to describe him. He's a something. But I guess you're going to have to kill me now. Lightsaber. It's a long story. Me and my- I was once a soldier. Me and my comrades were on a planet. Similar to this one, but not quite. It's full of plants. That's all I remember. But a Jedi was there killing my comrades. I had to do something. So I snuck up behind him, shot him in the back of the neck. But I took his lightsaber and I've been using it ever since. And then I've been training with it. And, uh, I've turned out pretty well with this thing. <laughs> Caught me monologuing. Hold on. <laughs> ah, Master Bob has taught you well. I see Master Bob has taught you well, huh? Has he? Yeah. Who's your master? Darth Vader. No relation to Darth Vader. Darth Vader. But he was my master. So, uh, for legal reasons, I cannot say his name. Huh. Ooh. Yes? Oh shoot. Ah! <laughs> it's over, man. Oh! Ah! 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 Why are you laughing? Ah! You're dying! Ah! Star Wars being like this. Wonder who that is. Who are you? Oh, I'm the vacuum cleaner salesman. Oh, I'm not a solicitor. I'm a vacuum cleaner salesman. Would you like a vacuum? Uh, $12. That's cheap. 
Well, it's not a very good brand, but it's a vacuum. Would you like it? Go back to the 50s. Okay. I guess he's in my house now. See you later. I'm going to the 50s. Wait a minute. If he can go, if he can go to the 50s, I can go to the 80s. Let's try. Okay. And now it is time for a little Timmy's badminton practice. What a lovely day for some belting time. That's right, and I'm going to laser you. Haha, <laughs> -ha. now I've got you right where I want you. Welcome to the Sports Network. Wait, that's not a soccer ball. All right. Hello and welcome to the Sports Network. Tonight we have a special treat for you. We're going to have little kids playing basketball, but today we have a twist for you. They are wearing safety helmets because you never know when the ball is going to bounce off of the backboard and then hit you in the head. But anyway, tonight our contender is Bonnie B. Benham. He, is, he has lost two of his games and won five. So, without further ado, we must get to our good friend Bonnie B. Benham. What's that? Hmm. Okay. He's going to be a few minutes late because he's out to eat at a restaurant. He's going to be getting some nice Skyline Chili tonight. Huh? Oh, he's here tonight. He's here right now. All right, let's get, let's cut the camera right to Benham and see the action. Uh oh, he's kicking the ball. He's kicking the ball. What is he doing? What in the world is he doing? Come on, go over there and play some basketball. Uh, oh, he misses. Oh, he misses. The ball rolls. He catches it. Oh my goodness, he's dribbling. What will this safety conscious little boy do next? He shoots it. Oh, he misses. So close. He misses. Do better. He misses again. When will this little kid's losing streak end? Ah, oh, he misses. Oh, he actually got one. Oh, it appears that it is stuck. I guess it doesn't count. Maybe something's interesting on the nature channel. Welcome back to the Nature Channel. Today we are talking about grass.
Grass, or grass, as it's sometimes commonly known as in the United States, is a very, very interesting little green plant that grows literally everywhere. It is a very nice little helpful thing that people walk on and stuff. It's very cool. Also, many, many other types of grass. Let's take a look at some of the, f of the many, many varieties of grass. Yeah, is a blade. Or, which is uh, which is what people call the, the leaves of the grass. This is a blade of the common grass. The kind of grass that you see all over the place. Here is a grass plant. It's not moving by itself. And over here we can have, we see, you can see the, the dead grass. That gets chopped up in the lawnmower. Look at that grass. <laughs> this is one of the more rarer varieties of grass. It's kind. It's pretty common, but not. But there's not as much of it as the regular common grass. It is tall, and then sometimes it's mis. Uh, it's misidentified as a tree, but this is in fact grass. This is a large white grass. It's shaped like a chair. Right here, is some flowering grass, and it is right next to some three-leaf grass. Chair over there is grass. There's wood over there. That's not wood, that's grass. That fireplace. That's not fireplace, that's grass. And if you think about it, the whole world is grass. Well, that's boring. I'm gonna go check my mailbox. I better check my mailbox today. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just gonna take a nap. The little kid here is, has been hearing noises all day inside his house. He doesn't know where, it, where it's coming from. He thinks that someone is in his house. But little does he know what's really inside of his house. I gotta lay off the clubhouse. New from Lego City! A satellite is falling away in space. Quickly, build the new spaceship! Build the spaceship! Launch into space, fix and rescue the satellite, and bring it back to Earth. New s re spaceship and satellite rescue from Lego City, each set sold separately. Have you ever been thirsty? Well, get ready for... Bum, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Water. Coming to an expensive water bill near you. And you can tell because of my fancy tie. And today's topic is Spider-Man. It's a man with spider powers, and it's only a thousand two hundred and million dollars. And we can pay extra of that to get a photo of your Spider-Man and a photo of a photo of your Spider-Man. And also, you can also get to go with his fine crying things. 
same much dollars, one thousand two hundred and million dollars. A photo of a photo, that's two million thousand. A photo is two thousand million. Made of die-cast metal, you may be allergic to this stuff. Batteries not included. Pictures of Spider-Man are very, very expensive. So get your wallets ready. And that's all, folks. Bye! Hello, this is a person with the This Is A Scam India. And today we're going to be teaching you how to copy and paste your files from one computer to the other with Control-C and Control-V. But before we can teach you that, you must email your social security number to thisisascam at gmail.com. Or you can call 914-737-9938 to reach our Nigerian Prince business partner. And then you can tell them verbally your four-digit social security number. And then once you do that, we may or may not teach you how to do it. And it might be all a scam. But there's a good chance that it's actually real. But then again, there's also a good chance that it's a scam. Uh, yeah. So... 914-737-9938 and this is the scam at gmail.com. Bye bye. Hi, I'm the salesman again because you can see my really nice puffy jacket and my fancy hat. So this topic is Angry Bird plushies. And I don't know anything about them. And that's the best. And they're only Two thousand million dollars. So, get your wallets up. You might want to run a lemonade stand to get these plushies. They're super cute. Bye. I gotta call the exterminator. Is the exterminator? Yes, yes, this is the exterminator. There's a bunch of bugs in my house. Uh-oh, hang tight. We'll be there soon. Oh, thank you. And try to watch your feet. Watch my feet? Hey, hey, exterminator. Oh. Here. Oh. Call the other exterminator. I'm done for. Ah! Ah! Okay. I'll be right there. I am the exterminator. Where's your ex girlfriend? But I don't have an ex-girlfriend. Oh, okay. Ah! 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 Legend has it that his house is still infested by bugs to this day. Parents, you want your kids to feel safe by wearing a helmet. But they don't want to wear a helmet. Well, show them all these cool videos that show that you can do many, many things while wearing a helmet and that prove it is indeed comfortable and practical to wear one. Obvious things, like riding a bike. Drinking. And jogging. And also walking. And lightsaber battling. <laughs> and even do this. Oh wait, that's a hat, not a helmet. And washing the car. But, your head is not hurt, because you're wearing a helmet. But my leg is still scratched. Who cares about your leg? You're wearing a helmet. See? It's safe. This man was not harmed by the walking shark because he had a helmet on. Let's see what happens when an unfortunate person does not wear a helmet when they encounter the walking shark.
As you can see, this man has died because he did not wear his helmet when you encountered the walking shark. Wear your helmet. Water. That's going to be on my next water bill. <sighs> Good night, baby. Good night, dear. Yep, go. Ah, ah. Ah. Oh, not another one of those nightmares. Babe, can you get me some? Shower. Ow! Get out!